Hello and welcome to Buckman's Model Mania. Today we're going to be working on the T1 Samba from uh, Diagostini, Stage 105. And we're working on the roof today. I do, will let you know, I'm waiting to hear back from Diagostini. I just sent in feedback on the uh, broken window from the last video, so I'll let you know what happens. So let me go ahead and get the parts out. Actually, just notice there are two pockets on here. So we've got apparently at least two different kinds of parts. Ah, we do. Let me see, does it say anything on the parts? It does not. But, okay, this makes sense. So you got 105-2, which is the lower sunroof, and dash one is the upper sunroof. So these are all going to fit together like that, like this one. And the key thing to keep in mind is you got three or five posts and five holes. So these are all going to fit together like that. Maybe not immediately, but I'm going to go ahead and set them together like that just so I have them all matched up. And then we have the uh, three and four, which are the lower sunroof ends. And I think they go the, it goes the other way because that doesn't look right. Yeah, that should be like that. Let me go ahead and get rid of the bag here. And we have a whole bunch of BP-12 screws, which is a brand new set of screws, of course. Or it's a brand new type of screw, I should say. So let me dump those out in here. And they are all silver because they, I guess, because they're going to be visible. We turn the page, and what we see is the first thing we have to do, is like I thought, sorry, I had to go over the parts bin in the last video. We're, well, the last video I said I thought this looked like it was part of the roof, and here is the roof, and yes, that part does go, is part of the roof. I'm just looking, it is the ventilation intake lower side of the roof press it so it's flush on the pins indicated so we've got four pins on here four lugs up here okay they're gonna it's gonna go on here like this and it's unfortunate with everything else on the van being so much else being metal the roof is plastic and it looks like plastic see if I can get to where I can see these pins. There's the first one started. That should let the rest of them start going in. Maybe. Sorry for the squeaky chair. Okay. That's the part, not my chair by the way. Okay, so you push this completely flush like that. Too close. Actually could not see the parts anymore. So the next thing they do is they take, they take the one of the 105 twos, the lower part, And you're going to put it on here like that. Turn the roof over, place one of the upper sun beam parts of the post fit into the holes, and then put three BP screws in. So this is going to go on here. You put this on here like this. There is a track. 
So you want it to be actually in the track. You turn it over. There's also a track on the top side. So with everything lined up perfectly, both the tracks on the top and the bottom will be caught. I'm going to go ahead and put the screws in and I will show you that what the tracks look like once they're aligned perfectly. Or, uh, I'm not going to say it perfectly, but aligned correctly and the screws are tight. Didn't want to let go of that because I kind of felt that might be what happens. And then I dropped the screw. Don't drop the BP screw, BP-12 screws. You only have one spare. So let's try this again. Set the part against my fat belly. And so I'm going to start over here. I'm just going to get them all started so that I can then adjust the part to where it needs to be. That one there. Oh, and I just realized, having looked forward, looked ahead in the instructions, these screws are visible because you won't be able to see them once the uh, top is on, I don't think. So I'm going to hold this one closed over here. Tighten it the rest of the way down. Do the same thing over here, making sure that everything is in the grooves the way it's supposed to be. Tighten it down. And then the center one. So it should look like that and it should be able to move like that without coming out. And you can see, maybe, there you can see how that's in the track, that's in the track, and the same on the other side. Make sure those are all tight, turn the page, do it again four more times. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these other ones lined up one at a time. And it says the hole closest to the front only used two of the 12 BP-12 screws. So I'll go ahead and take care of that one next. We're going to leave the one in the center out in the front. Get the second one on here like this. I actually believe that the, uh, I think, I'm, I'm going to stop guessing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure screws will go in those holes though. Eventually. That one's tight. Get this one re-engaged. Tighten it. Move this up to the front. Let me double check. That one, I think. That should be okay. Although, I did not know that. Notice that before. There are little spots. There are little dots in the track in the front so that once it catches up here it kind of stays in place. Let's get these other ones in place. Just throwing parts around. Get out three more screws. I got four. I'll be okay though. and start on the end here. I'll do the same thing on this one here. And I wasn't a comment on my channel. Hey, there's something we can do instead. 
because this one actually came loose with the screw in it. I can actually start them not on here. Should have thought of that before. But like I started to say, got a comment on my channel, or not on my channel, but on a, uh, or was during a discussion on one of the Friday night streams about just leave everything in. You know, don't pause, which I do pause just because it's stuff that I would skip over if I was watching rather than making the video. So I'm going to leave, start leaving everything in for the most part, except for things that I know I expect are going to be really, really a pain in the behind that I might start getting grumpy about. Like the fact that I'm grab I grabbed the wrong part here. <laughs> but I'm gonna start leaving most everything in just for the content. And I'm curious what viewers think about that. If do, are you gonna well, do you like to see all this stuff, the little nitnoid stuff, like every single screw? It was one of the things that Ian, when I first met him, was like you know, he doesn't want to see every single screw. But I'm curious what the majority of people think. I will, I'm honest, I will, on my, when I'm watching somebody else's videos, I will skip over spots that I'm not really that enthused about. Okay, that's not good. Hopefully I didn't damage that part. Because what happened... And it's happening on the other end too. Was this popped up outside of the, uh, popped up and the pin wasn't going down inside. That pin right there next to the screw. And so it was leaving it open. And I tightened it all the way down before I noticed it. So let me make sure this pin is going to go down inside. And that's why you don't tighten your screws down. Because that's, causing the issue. It should. There we go. A little bit of pushing and went on there. But yeah, so I'm, I'm just curious. I'm always curious what people think when they watch my videos. I do get some occasional comments, but I don't get a whole lot. And that's okay. If you don't want to comment, no need to. I just enjoy it. Okay, so now we have all four of these tracks on here, and they all move. Next thing to do is take this one here. And it actually doesn't really matter which way it goes, it looks like. Let me see. That lines up that. Okay, and let me double check it on this side. So it lines up flush either way. This one, I think, is the one that it matters on because it needs to be flush. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Once this is in here, it should be flush. This edge should be flush. And I apologize, just hit the camera and you guys are rocking and rolling now. Let me get only three. Three more screws out. These do not have any tracks or anything, they just sit in place. There's the one. Popped loose over here. I'm going to get back down in there. And this is why I don't tighten screws all the way down until I get them all started because more than once today I've had things not want to go in place because I got overzealous with the screws and put the screws in. Had that happen on one of the tracks. 
this pin here was not going down. I'll show you what show you the pin in just a second. This pin was not lining up. Get this third screw in here. That has got those all on there. Let me see. I believe I am correct. That is all there is to do in this stage. So we've got this stationary bar here. This one actually now catches on these little dots right here. And the rest of them are free, free moving. But like I said, that's all there is to do in this stage. Hope you're enjoying the build. I'm having a blast with it, except for the windshield. This window was a pain in my behind. And I may just push it down and keep it that way. Because I'm not going to play with it. Once it's in place, it's good. But uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to be notified of any time I post a new video. Come on over to Hobby Time Modelers on Facebook, YouTube, and Discord. Links will be in the descriptions. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Have a great day. Have a great day tomorrow. And I will see you in the next video.